Video Plays, Dr. Clemens Ford, New Eden Alien Rehabilitation Center. Dr. Clemens Ford recording now. We have received another patient from the Austerian Empire, a military man this time. Approximate age is about 80 or so, young for his kind, see attached. Video cuts to show an Austerian, similar to a kind of vampire elf biped, wearing a heavy straitjacket. He is bent over and appears to be worshipping a particular linoleum tile in his cell. Name, Centaurus Khan, equivalent rank of Staff Sergeant. Suffered severe allergic reaction resulting in addiction to substance C, type S. Cause of intoxication and subsequent addiction is due to improper curing of substance C before consumption. Subject has begun to worship the linoleum tiles of his cell in response to a fevered delirium due to withdrawal. Video shows a clip of the soldier being restrained by several human officers. The soldier, in a fevered delirium, uses his teeth to rip off a piece of tiling off the wall and begins shuffling around his cell. After chewing pieces of bedding away, he uses them to construct a makeshift shrine to the debris. Prospects for rehabilitation are normal. The road to recovery will be long and arduous. However, it's very likely he'll make a full recovery in due time. End Log 1 Video 7 Dr. Clemens Ford, New Eden Alien Rehabilitation Center uh, Dr. Clemens Ford reporting The addiction rates to unsanitized variants of substance C are becoming absurd to say the least. We have received three new patients in the last three weeks thus far. Patient 1 is a Taurian, patient 2 is an Olivarchus. Both cases are extremely unusual in that normally they shouldn't be susceptible to the effects of substance C. Video cuts and shows the sight of a Taurian, a humanoid centaur-like being with a head resembling a boar. He is babbling to himself, speaking incoherently in tongues and demon speak with grunts and whistles as he stares up at the ceiling. The camera cuts to the next patient, an Olivarchus. A giant spider resembling a certain species of wolf spider the size of a cow. This one is wandering in mindless circles on the ceiling, constantly circling the room light. His mandibles are making abnormal clicking and slurping noises as he goes. Again, cause of intoxications are noted to be unsanitized consumption of substance C. In the case of the Taurian, an overdose of type C caused by an impromptu eating contest. In the case of the Olivarchus, however... The cause of intoxication is due to accidental consumption of type L. Apparently, he had been stealing his co-worker's lunches, and he got his comeuppance. Video shows a trial of exposure to substance C as part of treatment. Torian is given a small sample of substance C and responds by screaming wildly and attempting to attack the attendant. He is stopped dead in his tracks by security officers carrying cattle prods. He is denied access to substance C and resumes babbling uncontrollably in his cell. Video cuts to Olivarka's cell. Presented with substance C in its distinctive scent, he moves close to the plate containing it, then stares at it for hours on end, seemingly huffing the fumes. When substance C is removed from his cell, he has to be restrained by security personnel, with judicious force to prevent him from harming staff. The Olivarchus can easily process withdrawal and some medication to shut down neuron activity for a time, and quit cold turkey. He'll be out of here in a few days. The Torian, however, is a different story. All staff attendants have to be male only due to the Torian response to, uh, human females. You know the ones I'm talking about. And the subject has to be restrained by a minimum of seven security personnel. End of log. Video 3. Dr. Clemens Ford, New Eden Alien Rehabilitation Center. Dr. Clemens Ford, log 3. This one is serious. Very serious. There's some kind of... no... I shall not devolve into that petty speculation this early. Back to work. Video cuts to the cell of a Laurentis, a large bulbous jellyfish-like creature. Her purple coloration denotes a female. She is emitting strange vibrations as she wanders around her cell, occasionally squealing some kind of incantation or ritual. She is unable to stop her inking, and her room has to be periodically cleaned. This is an odd one. She seems to be part of some cult that worships substance C. She rejects all form of substance that are not made of substance C, or at the very least taste or smell like it. Favorite flavor seems to be type G from France. No need for heavy security with this one, just around the clock cleanup crew. Video cuts again and shows the procedure for cleaning. The Lorientis approaches and begins to preach her religious beliefs, offering substance C to the cleaning crew. Cleaning crew are required to refuse, clean, and leave. Lorientis resumes her behavioral patterns when alone. 
subject seems to display a form of fanaticism that completely goes against her species' very nature. Lorientists are usually mildly annoying know-it-alls that focus on logic and scientific methodology. This... this is beyond abnormal. Log ends. Video 4. Dr. Clemens Ford. New Eden Alien Rehabilitation Center. Dr. Clemens recording. This cult is getting unusual and addiction rates are absolutely skyrocketing. Everidianus has been admitted after being released from a stay in the intensive care ward. Apparently, he has a rather severe allergic reaction to substance C, specifically a type of carbohydrate it has. Unfortunately, he is very much addicted to substance C and has not only three separate overdose incidents, but also 12 separate incidents of allergic reaction. Video cuts and shows several incidents where Everidianus, a giant wasp-like creature, is writhing in pain on his hospital bed, restrained by eight people. He has revived from cardiac arrest no fewer than eight times due to allergic reactions. When stable enough to be left alone, he attempts to make a nest out of his bedding, and tries to chew his way out of the room by gnawing at the walls. This one is under continuous surveillance, and won't be leaving any time soon. He has gone into cardiac arrest 85 times since he arrived. Under normal circumstances, substance C is harmless to non-humans. If it has been properly sterilized and cleaned. Substance C is teeming with earth-based bacteria, after all. It is what gives it the taste and texture. Sterilizing it with simple procedures doesn't really remove much of the taste. I don't know why so many are choosing baseline substance C. I'll have to ask for a formal investigation to be launched. This is getting out of hand. Video 5. Dr. Clemens Ford, New Eden Alien Rehabilitation Sa. Video shows Dr. Clemens in his office. Covered in sweat, nursing a head wound. Help! For all our sakes, help! This is an emergency broadcast to all known sectors. Patients have broken out in a mass riot all across New Eden. I told those insufferable idiots not to hold a festival on New Eden, but they wouldn't listen. I am immediately calling for the immediate cessation of all exports of substance C to all non-human planets and the permanent banning of all consumption of the product by non-humans. This is in... <coughs> Video shows the camera falling off the desk, sounds of a violent struggle followed by screams of a Torian and a babbling, a psychotic rage. The human delegation stands in front of the council, showing the footage of the New Eden Festival riots. Torians hurling stands from shops several feet into the crowds, babbling wildly and salivating uncontrollably. Images of Lorientis offering plates full of substance C, then going crazy and inking them when they refuse, sometimes capturing people and force-feeding them, the video continues and shows Nolavarkis tying up a family of humans and force-feeding them substance C, growing agitated and aggressive when refused. Video continues showing more images of humans undergoing various forms of capture, torture, or derangement from the drug-crazed aliens before being mercilessly beaten back and restrained by military personnel. The human ambassador closes the video and stands there, giving everyone the I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed look. Well... Care to explain yourselves? The council just looks at the human sheepishly. Some avoid eye contact and distract themselves. Others nervously shuffle in their seats. Oh, well, uh, I thought so. Since it's obvious you can't control yourselves, we have no other options, the human delegate said, presenting a piece of paper. No! Came the resounding response from all delegations. We... The Terran Federation do hereby ban the sale of substance C, formerly known as cheese, to any non-humans. This is not negotiable, he said simply, and turned away. The council began to wail in protest and break down in tears, as they were denied one of the most delicious confections known to the galaxy. Cheese.